Hey everyone, Marinus here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and start using Gohitis's Synth Mapper helping tools, uh, which are a really powerful uh, uh, set of scripting tools to use for making uh, song maps for synth writers. Um, so the, the scripting language is based around Python. The first thing you're going to need to do is install Python. So uh, the links are going to be below in this uh, in this video. Um, as I'm making this, the latest is uh, Python 3.11. Um, it's available in the uh, Microsoft Store. Go ahead, just install it. Boom. I'm, I'm going to assume it's there. And then uh, you're going to want to go to uh, Gohitis's, uh GitHub page. Um, everything he wrote is completely open source. You can go and check it out. Uh, the easiest way to download it is to come to the releases page. It'll always have the latest one. I mean, as I write this, uh, the uh, 101 is up, but he's uh, uh, still working on some beta stuff. But uh, this link right here, the assets, that Windows helper.zip, that's what you're going to want to grab. Um, it's really just a couple of batch files and uh, some text files. Um, it's really small. Go ahead, uh, download that, and unzip it in a convenient location. Um, also, worth bookmarking is the the wiki for synth mapping helper. Um, Gohitis is, wrote a he wrote a fantastic wiki here. Uh, I'm going to go through this. I'll come back to this in a moment. Um, what we're going to do is install it. So. Once you've taken that uh, synth mapping uh, helper file and unzipped it, you're going to see this. Uh, these files, plus, well, minus the examples that I did. Um, in here, you'll see an install.bat. So um, when you go to run that, in fact, I'm going to go to edit it right now so I can show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to go to run it, and you're probably going to get a, a Windows Defender icon. Um, you know, pop up like this. Um, that's a good thing. That means Windows is configured properly and is uh, protecting you from potential malware. Um, fortunately, though, this this is safe. Um, you know, it's open source. You can double check it. Um, click that more, and then click Run anyway. In this case, I'm just editing it, and you see all it's doing here is typing in that same uh, install script. Uh, that uh, that he has in the wiki. Uh, what this does is it just installs uh, the synth mapping helper in the background. Uh, super easy. It, you know, you don't really have to worry about anything. Um, so once you've installed it, it it's there, and uh, the helper works by you know copy pasting notes from uh, from the synth writer's beat map editor. And then just dragging and dropping these text files onto the synth mapping helper smh.bat. Um, and I'll show you that right now as a uh, quick demo. Um, like for instance, I did this here. I'm going to uh, copy this. It's just just one wall and uh, and one-handed spiral. Going to go back. I'm going to do this stack with green rails dot text, which basically it just Stacks along the green URL, so I'm going to drag this, drop it to smh.bat, it runs, and then I'm going to go up and then paste it. Boom! And you can see there it took that wall and it traced it, and every time, everywhere there was a node on that green rail, it copied the wall and like, rotated around it. So as you can see, you can do really fancy stuff with notes, with walls. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be, it could be a really complex pattern. It would, it would do the same thing. Um, I'm going to go show you a couple other handy tools, but right now I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to go back to the uh, to the wiki page, again linked below. So go through here, so there's a number of commands. Um, you go through here, so the, uh, they'll execute the order they're listed here. Um, actually, let me go ahead and I'll pull up the, uh, the well, we'll show the help file. I'll show you that. If you click uh, show help, again, you get the link, run anyway, and then your command window will pop open, um, and it has you know all the different commands in here. So you notice uh, uh, most of the commands will start with uh, dash or dash dash. Um, use this for reference. It works out pretty simple in practice. Um, 
for instance, uh, this example rotate. Uh, the command for that is this dash dash rotate equals 45. It's basically saying let's rotate 45 degrees and then uh, this is this optional pivot command here is saying let's rotate 45 degrees around the point that's at minus one uh, one and you do that and it rotates so let's uh, let's go ahead and do this we'll copy this control C we'll go back I will do example rotate onto smh.bat We'll come back and you can see it's just rotated 45 degrees. Boom, how easy is that? Um, there's a lot of other uh, fancy stuff you can do here. And we'll go back here. Um, so there's a lot of built in examples. So these are, are not, um, you know, this, this doesn't. It's not all encompassing everything you do. These are just some examples that Gohitis wrote to get you started. Um, I, I put together one here, examples. Um, one thing to, uh, to take in mind is that you can use the pound sign to make comments. So anything that starts with the pound sign in here uh, is not going to execute. So you can take commands, you can put notes to yourself. In fact, uh, what I like to do is I'll just like if I'm working on a map, uh, all the different commands I'll work on in that map will put in here and then I'll comment that out so that if I do want to come back and edit it it's easy to come back later uh, which is exactly what I did here to show you so one of the easy ones is shift so I'm gonna start this one so you um, oh the other handy thing here is use original will save whatever you copy pasted so that you don't have to start I keep doing it again and again. Um, so I like to start off all the scripts that I use with that use original. Uh, zero O is offset. So this right here will offset anything we copy paste two to the left. Let's go ahead and change that eight to the left. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to come here, various examples, drop on smh.bat. And then we'll paste. And then Bam, now that left-handed spiral is way off unplayable. So, yeah, we don't want to do that. Maybe we want to go the other direction. Um, maybe we want to go four to the right. Run that again. And boom, so you see the original here. And we just move four to the right. Um, find this sort of thing super, super convenient for wall art because you could sit here, you can make wall art where you can see it, and then you can shoot it off to the side. Or if you did a pattern that uh, you like, but you wish this whole string of 10 notes just a little bit left, a little bit, you can do that. Um, you can scale, you can rotate. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, basic transforms uh, that you can do. Uh, so we have scale here. So rotate uh, is, a, again, um, uh, a very convenient thing. Um, positive is counterclockwise, negative is clockwise when we rotate different directions. Um, other very convenient tool to use, the, or way to use this tool is the uh, with rails. This is so nice for making really, really beautiful spirals. Um, so the scripts here that use original it just uh, says save the copy paste um, so that you don't have to keep copy pasting your original uh, rail every time. Interpolate is the uh, kind of the spacing between the nodes that's going to do it. So one eighth will put one node um, every eight beat. Um, you can put this as much as 64th but I warn you if you try to put nodes every 64th it will kill your FPS, it will kill the performance. So I try to do uh, you know, a quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, uh, uh, kind, of as, as, kind of as rough an interpolation as we can get away with, uh, make it better. Uh, radius, you know, self-explanatory, that's going to be the, the radius of the spiral. And then spiral here is really, um, it's more it's how many nodes are going to be per spiral. So this is going to do 16 nodes per spiral. 
So a 1 8 interpolation and a 16 nodes per spiral means it's going to take two beats to do it. Um, outset, you can use that to make the spiral like, uh, you know, it will get bigger or smaller as it goes on. And the start angle is where, where you start the spiral. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. I'm going to pull it up and I'm just going to draw a rail. I'm going to make a standard uh, right hand rail and my colors are reversed here from what you're probably used to but blue is my right hand and I made that and that is just literally a straight rail so I'm going to hit control C to copy that go down we'll drag and drop Marinus examples on that so I can show you and we're going to paste and boom you can see it just turned that straight rail into this Nice spiral. Um, let's say I don't, I don't like that. That's too slow. I want to make it faster. So we'll go back and say instead of spiral 16, let's do spiral 8. Save it. Drag, drop. And the advantage of using uh, user original is we can do that. Um, you don't have to go back and copy paste that original rail again. It remembered that original rail. Um, and now it does it spiral. Now when we do that, it looks a little bit ugly. Um, so I'm going to go back, uh, iterate again. You know what, I think I'm going to do it every 1 16th. When we do that, we need to change the spiral back to 1 16th. Save. And you got to save it or it won't know that you changed anything. And boom! Well, we got it. Got that nice tight spiral. Uh, maybe we want to be a little bit fancy about it. So I'm going to go there again. Um, so maybe instead of being like that, we want our spiral to end, say, over here. Uh, maybe have a node in the middle. Maybe even dip down a little bit. Go ahead, control C, copy that. We'll go back, we'll run uh, that same script again, the one that we had just run and boom and now you can see instead of going straight on it's actually uh, tracing that um, you can have some pretty cool effects here now it's because it's such a wide spiral it's kind of hiding it uh, but if we had made that like a nice tight spiral like um, you know you know like you know, radius one it could have been a, uh, it could be a pretty cool effect it really depends what you're going for with your map so, I mean, to try to map something like that by hand would be miserable, but this tool, bam, snap, it's done. Um, other fun stuff you can do. Um, so, these quest wall patterns. So, this is great for making wall art. Like, if you played any of my recent maps, um, I use this really heavily for wall art. So, uh, this, this section right here is literally uh, one of the scripts that I used for, uh, for Take On Me. Um, let me go ahead and what this was doing is I, I did the math now it's not going to work out for this map um, but I did it like every quarter note uh, without set a uh, 0.06 well, was steadily getting further and further away from uh, from zero zero um, and then it was 416 wide so let me go show you so we have this um, so I have a wall here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this and come out and I'm going to show you what happens if we run that script. So save and uh, uh, kind of commented out everything except for this one line that I use original. It's the only one that's running right now. So run that smh.bat. Go back, paste, and blah! Uh, now that's a cool effect, but that's unfortunately unplayable. We don't want to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, Control Z, undo. Going to go back to the first wall, and now we're going to use our filter keys, and I'm just going to turn everything off but left walls. <laughs> so copy, and then we'll run that script again with just the wall, so you can see what it looks like. So you can see the walls going on and on, and it, it's getting bigger as it goes on, which was the effect that I was looking for for Take On Me. 
uh, and that's that effect of that uh, outset. So it gets on and on, gets bigger and bigger, and you, you can uh, stitch commands together. Um, so like for take on me, this is how I started, uh, but that's not how I ended it. Go ahead and do that. Oops, going to go back. Um, and then after that, I had done another command. I used dot o equals, and then we'll go off to the side, equals, say, um, minus uh, 30, 0, 0. And what that's doing is offset saying, OK, now that we've done everything here, move it to the left uh, 30. Um, and by putting in different lines, you can do stuff sequentially. So uh, if we put this line up first, you could shift that wall. So I oftentimes will uh, have a condition where anytime I use a wall, I just have it at zero, zero, and then I'll use O to shift it over to where I want to do it and then shift it back. Um, you can do it however, whatever works for you. Come here, I'll paste it, and boom, now it's got that same wall pattern, uh, but it's shifted off to the side. And it's 416 long, and you know, if you you do your math right, you can set it up so that, hey, it's a nice little dodge wall. Um, that is maybe not a nice little dodge wall, so, but it's easy to do. You can go through here, you can tweak it, you can play with it till you get the, uh, you know, really cool stuff uh, um, that you like. Um, so here's an example, uh, offset increasing spiral. Forget exactly what I used this for, but I will show you this too. And so we'll run that script off this offset increasing spiral. We'll control Z, get rid of that, and then paste it. And oh, there we go. That's the offset increasing spiral. So um, that first line moved it off to the side, and then it turned around, and it basically just did this nice spiral. And that was uh, something we forgot to get rid of earlier. Um, now you can mix this all together. You can do all sorts of walls. You can um, uh, copy groups of nodes and do the same transform with it. Um, other things you could take, uh, you know, rails, you can split them up. You can join them together. Um, you can change BPM. If you have a, a variable BPM map, uh, there's a BPM tool here you can use to convert back and forth. Uh, you can use the BPM tool to take notes that you space too far out and bring them in. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is when I down map, I'll go from uh, master to hard. Uh, oftentimes I want to make this pattern just a little bit easier, so I'll uh, run like a scale 0 0.8, 0 0.8, uh, 1 on them. Oh, and uh, note on the scale, uh, whenever you do do a scale, like, um, always end in 1, the Z is the time. Um, so if you don't put a one, you could do screwy things with the time. So whenever you scale, it's uh, you know, so this would be 80%, 80% one. The whole pattern would just be 80% smaller. So um, I have another uh, demo where I do show how to use the rails. Uh, do caution that I put 64th in there, but that it, it killed my map. Uh, ruined too slow. I ended up dropping off to to 1 16th interpolation for the final version. But hey. I hope this helped you all, and happy mapping!